What is up guys and in this video I'm going to show you how to display ads in your game and with this I don't mean how you will implement the SDKs and code everything I have tutorials for that I will put a link in the description of this video so you can learn how to do that but in this video I'm going to talk about how you can display ads in your game and not annoy your users so that you know they quit and uninstall your game and so on and so forth because a lot of you guys have asked me Oh, how can I display ads after my level is finished? How can I display ads in this situation or that situation and so on and so forth? So I'm going to show you with a practical example how and when I display my ads so that they don't annoy the user, but they still earn me money. So I'm going to do that with my Pookie Ninja game that is out on Google Play and available on the iOS store. So yeah, link was be, links will be, <laughs> links will be in the description below. So download the games and play them. If you didn't play them, you know, what are you doing here? Play the games. Anyways, I'm going to hit the play button now. And when I open the game, I am going to go in the first level. So over here you have levels and so on and so forth. Ignore this Android resolver and blah, blah, blah. Yes, and so on and so forth. Ignore this. So over here I can go in the level and play the first level. Simply hit the play button. Notice now when I go over here. So when I get killed, this is one of the ways how I display ads in my game. You can press the continue button and watch the ad to continue the game. Now in my levels you have enemies that you need to kill and when you kill the enemies then you know actually if you have like for say 10 enemies and you kill 5, if you press continue you will continue with 5 enemies left. So you're not restarting the game and have 10 enemies again. So if I click here, continue, eventually we have Unity ads and I'm going to close over here and there you go. So I'm continuing and there you go. Of course, you can see over here, I still have two enemies because I didn't kill one, but I'm just going to kill one, no tanks. And let's go play again. I'm going to kill one and let the other kill me so that you can see that. So one is killed, the other will kill me. And you can see on this red, you know, whatever this is over here. I have killed one out of two enemies when I hit continue now until we have the ad. You see one enemy is left when I kill him, there you go. So this is one really convenient way how you can display ads in your game and not annoy the user. Another way how am I doing it is that I'm counting how many times the user is changing the level. So how many times he is changing the level? For example, currently I am in level one. So I'm going over here in level one and okay, I will get killed. It doesn't matter. If I hit continue, I will play the level, but I'm not counting when the same level is played again because I'm not reloading the level. I'm just repositioning the characters. If I press no tanks, I'm going to go back in the main menu. So now I went from main menu to level one back to main menu. I'm going back to level one again. That's four times. I'm counting that five times and on the fifth time, time when I either die so now when I go back to the main menu or when I die I will display an interstitial ad so this is really important the first ad that you saw was a rewarded video ad so the user will watch the ad and at the end he will get his reward which in my case is basically in my case it's the continuing of the game so he will continue to play the game and where he left off but on the interstitial ad, it's just an image. You're not for forcing the user to watch it. So that's really important. Don't force your users to watch the ad. Make your ads be a complement to the game. So make them seem like they are part of the game. So that's how your audience will watch your ads and not be annoyed. For example, another way that I'm planning to implement in one of my next games is watch an ad and earn X amount of coins. I also have that in this game. I'm quickly going to show you that. So if I go back over here, hit the play button. So, okay, yes, come on, hit the play button. And when I go over here and kill one enemy and go now and kill the second enemy over here, there you go. So I have watched the ad to collect two times the coin. So meaning the current coin value, or in my case, diamond value, I'm going to multiply that by two when I watch that. So when I click over here as many times until Unity ads appear, and over here when I close it, now I have 64 and I can collect 64 ads, 64 diamonds, not ads. <laughs> there you go. So this is also one of the ways how you can incorporate ads in your game and not annoy your user. Of course, there are multiple other ways. So you can, you know, save the character. You can, you know, give him some other item. Just make sure that he doesn't watch the ad for nothing. You can do that with an interstitial ad. You can get away with it, but not that often. 
As I said, I'm counting five times when he changes levels. So from main menu, back to level one, two, three, four, doesn't matter, but I'm counting how many times he changes the levels. And of course you can look this all up. You can use the scene manager and you can use or implement the delegation on level loaded and you can check, you know, when the new level is loaded and so on and so forth. And it's just be wise when you display your ads. So you want to display your ads when the user dies, if it's an interstitial ad, when the user dies, when he goes back to main menu, you don't want to display interstitial ads during gameplay. You don't want to display any ads during gameplay, except banner ads if, you, if your game allows for the place to it. You, if you remember Flappy Bird, the banner ad was at the bottom. It was not obscuring the game. It was there the whole time and it was not annoying the user. So make sure that you find a way how in your game the user will not be annoyed and he will be annoyed if his gameplay is you know cut so just make sure to do that and this is how i do it in my game i will show you in my next game as well how i'm going to do it not in this video in one of the next ones and again if you want to learn how to implement these ads you can link is in the description below and by the way if you're wondering which networks i use i use chart boost unity ads AdMob, and tap joy but i think i'm going to ditch tap joy and stick with these three because i'm satisfied with them not so much with tap joy and uh, yeah, other than that, download and play my game and check out all the links in the description of this video. Take care.